Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? As you can tell by the title, we take a L in this gameplay. Um, this gameplay right here, I'm just going to be breaking it down. Uh, what went good? What went wrong? It's weekend league. It's all pro. It's probably rookie. We don't know what uh, threshold's on. But um, we play a demon. This guy's name is Chizzy TTV. Shout out to him. He's rocking Vince Young at the helm, rocking the Bengals uniforms. And this gameplay goes bad. And you know, it's our only loss of the weekend. As right here, he hits a pass, a delay fade to Larry Zonka. He's rocking Vince Young. He has Larry Zonka. Like this dude is a demon to the max. Uh, I don't really even know who would use both Larry Zonka and Vince Young, but I mean, this guy obviously does. So we finished 24 and one. We finished number two. We probably would have got number one, but Fancy ended up, you know, finishing 25 and 0. I will show you a screenshot at the end of the video. But I was live streaming this game. We were only 4 and 0 at this point, Saturday night, right after the college football games. So I get on and play a little bit of weekend league uh, and then play the rest on Sunday after the Raiders dubbed up. But yeah, man, so far, so good. You know, nothing really eye opening about this gameplay. Um, he's rocking under center, though, which is. Uh, I, I saw Throne made a tweet. He said, please, I need under center idiot defense. So I guess, you know, this is kind of a meta. A lot of people have just been running some random under centers. And this guy is no different. He has Nick Chubb at the helm. Um, the run, really, we've been kind of bagging it up so far. So, you know, so far, so good. He's right here, he is going to get in a doubles set. And he lobs a bubble. If I had, like, mid zone or acrobat there, I want to say I could have maybe picked it off. But, you know. Third down, fourth down and 11. And mind you guys, this is when I just got my Raiders 50 theme team. Can't wait for theme diamonds. It's going to bring a lot of content to the channel. Something we've been missing out on is just, you know, mutt reviews, you know, new cards. I mean, I don't know if you guys enjoy seeing that, but I mean, with the team diamonds, it's going to be very, very nice to, you know, incorporate some of that. It's right here. We are going to be running man coverage on a fourth and 11. Um, I really do like the man coverage call right here. And is it going to work? and yes it does he has actually no chance of getting it and you know what man i gotta start mixing in more man-to-man -man coverage right on just looking at that man uh we just play pretty good defense you know i don't think i went back to it the rest of the game so you know so far no demon-esque type of you know uh plays or anything by the opponent so far so good like i said um but trust me around the second third drive the demon time is coming out of chizzy ttv it's right here we're gonna just hit jerry rice um maybe that's just something that's only open on all pro weekend league because i don't think you could throw that at all on all madden speaking of all madden friday night football returns this friday i'm in it week uh round one hopefully we could you know go to the top win the tournament but i'll definitely have some comp gameplays for you in that aspect all madden as well just a change of pace right here we're gonna run speed dig we see is a man coverage just with the alignment of everything he runs man. We have Waller wide open, and that's easy money for Waller. I had recently just gotten in Colts playbook. The red zone is kind of pitiful. So here we go, third and goal, and we just break a tackle. Can't get in the end zone, and I'm pretty, you know, frustrated by the fact, like, look at this dude's defense. He's spreading everyone out, and we're just going to call timeout, rehuddle. So here we go, man. 3 3 5, D line is spread. Everything is spread, and we get lucky. We get lucky right there. Darren Waller on the flat sometimes you know you just gotta pass and get it done the hard way and by no means should that have been completed but you know we got it right there in our favor man in our favor so after getting that lucky touchdown the demon came out in chizzy ttv he hits me with this i form wing uh looky and damn who uses nick chubbs nick chubb i mean this guy is a demon nick chubb is a great running back but i mean you just hardly see him in madden but uh, he just shook off Diablo right there, which is pretty tough to do. Right here, back in the eye form again. Boom, another stretch play. Larry Zonka picking up blocks. He's juking and jiving with Nick Chubb. Right here, he hits us with a dive. And man, Nick Chubb was getting some crazy, re uh, you know, push the pile animations. It's right here once more. Lucky, and we got no defense. Boom, out my way. I know you guys saw that rewind if you have to. And look at me, man. I'm like, dude, does this dude really have out my way? I mean, the first drive really didn't scare me. The second drive is kind of, you know, like, okay, what is he doing? Boom, another dive. And we really can't stop the run at this point. Um, maybe something I need to invest in is that out my way on Cam Chancellor. 
just for these weekend league bots it's right here man rpo excuse me stretch looky to the right and there goes nick chubb just jumping into the end zone and that was like the easiest drive anyone could ever have i mean my man's is toting in the most most pass heavy most easily to pass game madden's ever had i assume and right here he's gonna just rpo glitch cheese us for the two-point conversion and that's something you got to keep an eye out for for the rest of the game um honestly that play right there wasn't too big of a play you know going up one is cool for him but um i just came out in a random defense at this time and you know he caught he took advantage um my chat was telling me to start running the rpo and i wanted to see you know how it works because uh if you do remember i did drop a video on the rpo and i could drop another if you guys like but there's new a new variation of rpo glitching you know my opponent is going to show me it basically and show you guys it basically too but uh right here we're basically just going in all the rpos that we have in our playbook and seeing if they work basically what you want to do is just uh double tap the receivers button aka pump fake um and you glitch everyone obviously zach wilson is not someone you want to be doing it with they say if you have vince young with escape artist it's the best so you know do what you want with that info um you know go ahead and just glitch your opponents out it's right here we are just gonna hit devin hester on this post nice easy open he has jc jackson and man something i could have been taking complete advantage of all game and we are just gonna dive down at the one perfect execution if we could get seven uh with about you know like 30 seconds even 20 seconds left that'd be the best thing right here we're just gonna run sneak and we accidentally score i was expecting sneak to get stuffed up i just need to find a play that like is not gonna score the touchdown for me but is not gonna lose yards if you know what i mean i think fullback dive might be that play but at this time of moment i have keith smith on it man power up not even full fully added keith smith we definitely need a marcel reese bad for goal line situations for this raiders theme team right here guys he's gonna start passing something we love to see we get dual edge pressure right there but remember that play i mean if we just pick that off instead of saying nah i don't want it or matumbo just get it out of here if we just simply pick that off the game is set in stone gg but instead here we go he goes into another demonic set this tight and we get pressure off the right edge but look at my user, man. It gets stuck. Um, I I guess I engaged with the DO line. And they, the O line was not letting me get off the block. Any means, it was not. I was there for eternity. I almost ended up picking him off, which is pretty crazy. Um, I, I saw I jumped with Diablo. It said SWAT. I mean, there's no way I was going to pick that off. But that would be a kind of insane interception if I were to pick it off. Right here, we're in 3-3-5 wide still. I don't know why. Don't ask me why this... It's not bad, but it's just not that good, man. It's right here. He's going to throw this. And the fact that, you know, that somehow almost got completed and caught without set feet lead, without gunslinger is insane. It just goes to show. Um, and that, by the way, that's the best defensive player in the game and Sean Taylor. That just goes to show how bad the zones are on weekend lead. It's right here, guys. We are going to be in the 3-2-5 wide again. Like I said, I should have been in something else. We kind of try to get pressure and boom another demonic play i'm like what you see me in the face cam and he's gonna go back to it man no huddle he has a user catch glitch i want to say chat another one he drops it thankfully but man th this guy knows something for sure if he's going to that with ease with confidence without even gunslinger and the way sean taylor was reacting now trust me guys something was going on man something really glitchy he has brandon marshall on it like the best player you want and boom, he's going to hit us with another RPO glitch at the perfect time. This RPO glitch demon is just having his way right now on defense. And I'm kind of lost. Right here, man, is the icing on the cake. This is how I knew this guy was a demon. Look at this. What is that? I insta-clip. I'm just kind of distraught. I'm like, what is going on? What is this guy doing? What ability is that? How does he know how to do this? Um, he is just user catching, swerve catching me right now. And I, I actually have no chance of stopping it at this time of moment. So, man, I don't know if y'all want to go cop the Chizzy TTV ebook, but his stock is rising, and I know it will be rising after this gameplay. Number one demon probably on Xbox right now. Chad, we are about to do something very dumb that pretty much loses us this game. I may have, I definitely had A. Instead, I throw it cross body to Devin Hester. He starts to celebrate, he gets pancakes, and he's gone. Um, I was telling my chat, there might be something about the celebration that you get glitchy blocking. 
I'm so ass for that, man. It's unbelievable. That's that play right there probably cost me the 25 and 0. I'm complete ass for that. I throw it on the run. I definitely thought I can because he has JC Jackson. That's the only reasoning that JC Jackson is like four speed slower than Hester. I could probably throw this still. Um, I had Waller wide open. I had everyone wide open, and I threw it to the one guy that wasn't. We're good, man. He's in man coverage out of wide. Or excuse me, three three five. We're good, and look at this, man. He's going to start user rushing us. No one comes in, fortunately, but, I mean, he still played good defense. He had to kind of limit my pocket. Kind of had me shook. It's right here. You see him on the right lining up for the user rush. I'm just trying to go deep at this point. Boom, hits us with a user rush, and everyone was open, but it doesn't matter. The demon is coming out. Like, this guy is a demon. It's just like every drive, he hits you with something new that you don't expect. It's right here. He is going to just bag us up, honestly. We have Rice, and that's a deep bomb touchdown. Uh, he had us in a bag, but his user was complete dog shit. <laughs> Mind my language, but um, we hit him with that PA read. Nice post, that uh, S post. Pretty much PA dig fork out of Panthers. And, you know, we end up getting the touchdown on a crucial third down, by the way. It's right here. We are going to hit flood. Another player should have been running more. And it's just a, a nice bump and run routes. You saw wide open Darren Waller. It's right here, guys. We're going to be running wide again just to slow down the run. And boom, big hit stick, no fumble. Right here, same thing. Wide getting toted on. And this time he decides to flip his stretch to the left. More yards. We actually play really well. And that's because that's like the teeth of our defense on that left side. We have um, Ed Reed over there. We have Sean Taylor more specifically in that cornerback he's not gonna let you run on him um that right side definitely looks sweet and uh you know it makes sense because you know i have like mike haynes there who isn't bad in the run i want to say he's six foot two there's just no way he's terrible in the run but he's not sean taylor by any means it's right here we decide to make it switch up you see us audibling in for two four five odd we got to get a stop at this point you know before we were kind of freestyling thinking you know we got the game one we got ball at half we were just having fun at this point in moment uh we are definitely fishing for a stop and we are sweating at this point you know we have tears i want to say we have tears at the first tier we were just chilling talking a little bit to the chat you know how that be this tier right here as he somehow catches that this tier right here is you know we're kind of sitting up in the chair we're kind of locked in just you know look at our camera um and we and it's, honestly i'm still thinking that we got the dub it's third and six this guy has vince young without gunslinger we're finally in two four five odd this is where we get our stop right and wrong is me it's right here he's just gonna hit a button we actually get force him to a fourth down but man this dude right here just hit a button and you know that could have definitely been a pick but thankfully for us we have sean taylor with mid zone ko cover two shell we bring down our safeties we're just trying to get scream team and bruh i put my head down because what in the hell was that he low passed that to George Kittle without gunslinger, without set feet lead. Reggie Nelson, oh my God, you're getting replaced so fast by Mike Edwards. He is, Reggie Nelson is, you know, very good in zone. He makes good plays. You know, he gets big hits sometimes too. There's one issue with him. He's 5'11". And I know Mike Edwards is short too, but at least he's faster, man. Right here, he's going to run the ball. And thankfully for us, David Irving gets glitchy. Boom another pa play and he hits us with a low ball that's gonna be a dot i'm not gonna hate on that play because that's open i don't know how it's open i have a baseline press maybe that's why because i'm baseline press but you know he hits us with a nice low ball dot right in the perfect sweet spot for cover two and he's kind of manually clocking us right here gun doubles you know he's gonna rpo glitch us and boom there it is rpo glitch vince young if he had a little better stick and hit it to the right side would have been a touchdown but montez sweat goes big uh him at dt is insane man i feel like there's a nice few good dts straight hands good he's kind of a day one item uh montez if you want that speed and that shed he's really good and then obviously there's a new miles garrett that you could probably play there all nice dts and they they all have a big role in like two four five odd type of defenses he's right here he's gonna hit us with a stretch looky again and you know he can't clock us all the way out so we will get the ball back and we're thinking about going for two but man how did this game get to this point we're getting clocked by chizzy ttv boom he's gonna hit us with a play action and that's not the read but big hit sean taylor we get a fumble almost go out of bounds as a safety 
and what am I playing right now, man? I'm in amazement. Um, somehow, some way, that was completed. I have, you know, look at this. I don't know how that was a completion. That's Ed Reed with mid zone and acrobat. But hey, we get the fluke, we get the fumble. This game is ours to win or ours to lose, whatever you want to call it at this point. He's going to run commit. And wow, he ran commit. We're going to take this all the way down to the 30, 20 yard line. Um, and this game is looking like we clocked him out. I mean, it's looking like a dub, man. But let me tell you, man, we somehow lose it. It's right here. Boom. We hit him with an RPO glitch, a little, you know, taste of his own medicine. At this point, we're like, you know what? Can you stop it, man? Because I obviously can't stop it. Can you stop it? And we're going to run the same thing again, man. We're just trying to cheese. And right here, we get shoestring tackled, man. Barely, barely, barely. But there's no mind. There's no doubt in my mind that we could easily get this one yard. Let's see what goes wrong. Boom, he run commits, and we get held for a loss of four yards. And you see my excitement kind of go away. This gameplay is very funny. I wish my audio files were on. But that was a blast. Something I'll work on in the future. But man, this gameplay was very funny. The past two plays, I was cheesing. I'm like, yeah, stop this RPO glitch. You were running it all game. And that play right there, my, my, you know, my genuine happiness just kind of goes out the window. I'm kind of thinking, okay, bro, I don't know. It's Madden 22. Will I be able to get a stop? Because, yes, I'm going to be kicking three like a madman. This is not the play call, especially on all pro, especially on whatever mode this is, probably rookie. But, yeah, we're going to kick three. We trust the defense. Honestly, it comes down to the fact that this dude has Vince Young at QB, and I just don't think, like, he doesn't have Gunslinger. There's going to be, like, some plays that we just get interceptions on. And that's where my thought process goes wrong because this year, all pro weekend league, you could throw absolutely anything. Because right here, he's going to get a nice kick return to the 33. And that's always a bummer to start off the drive. Boom, back in the pinch too, man. We just need like one sack. We get one sack, the game is over. Good user. And somehow, some way, he's able to loft that pass. And I'm going to put mid zones back up top, man. There's just no way. He's able to lob that pass over the top of my, you know, everything. Once more, we send the pressure. It doesn't actually come in this time. Somehow that's not a pick, but we thankfully get him to drop it. And for the situation, man, I'm playing terrible defense. I'm just thinking I could get a sack. He doesn't have a gunslinger. You know, he's going to wind up. I'm, that's, that's my thought process, man, that just one sack ends the game. He gets in this gun wide trio, and I'm kind of scared for the seam streak. So you're going to see me move out my safeties. Um, I'm going to have a middle third from the right safety, Reggie Nelson. And honestly, this is a pretty good D. We get clicked off our user. We do get pressure, but unfortunately, he is able to throw it away. It's right here. Cover three shell on the left. Cover two on the right. And terrible defense again. What am I doing? I'm thinking I could get a shed of pressure or something. Because I had been screaming, chat. Don't tell me I wasn't. I was literally screaming this whole time. And right there, look at me. I'm like, yeah, I should have put 30s on. Honestly, what I really wanted to do was just not go to overtime. And we played very greedy defense, risky defense in that. But hey, you are you can afford to do that in weekend league games compared to MCS games. It's a learning process. You're going to have to learn somewhere. You're going to have to test out and rep out somewhere. And that's just how I think about it as, you know, this is weekend league, man. I'm not going to lose a million dollars on it. Fortunately, we are going to lose our number one spot on an RPO glitch. But it is what it is, guys. We live and we learn. Head down, hands on the face. GG's in the chat it's not completely over we do have a chance and i'm gonna show you my final pass attempt um but definitely need someone you know to come up huge at this time of moment um did we we lob that and it's just not there man that looked like it was a good chance to split the cover two shell he's gonna stun on us he's gonna spin this dude is the biggest demon out there um i think we end up do tackling him thankfully because i would have you know at this point i was mad you see my hands on my face again but if he scored i would have been just bloodshot mad but look at this man it won't let me look back out of the game it's just it's just making me sit here in pain and torture lost to chizzy ttv man that's all i could say ggs in the chat but look at this man it's still frozen still looking at coach gruden and this is just a big bro and me moment at the time like when do they ever do this it's like they perfectly knew 
that I took an L. I'm honestly like you see me. I'm holding the controller. I'm trying to get out of the game, and they're just holding me to this torture. Like it's like he won a Super Bowl or something in mutt head-to-head -head seasons. Look at this. It's still going on. I'm raging in the chat. And this was just a funny ass gameplay, man. It won't let me skip. What am I doing? I just want to watch the replay. This is not Madden, bro. But as we see here, guys, shout out to RPO Glitcher Chizzy TTV for ruining my number one spot. Shout out to Fancy for the number one spot. But there we are, number two. 100% would have got it due to the strength of schedule. Um, and then also, it could go on the part that Fancy went 25 and 0 too. So, you know, props to him. Thank mm -hmm. you.